It's been quite a year for Travis Kelsey. He rocked the Super Bowl and SNL, some NFL records, and a certain rock star. Now number 87's in the food business too, with microwave meals like these from Travis Kelsey's Kitchen available only at Walmart. How do they taste? Well, without revealing anything about them, we tested four different dishes on some of our cohorts at the Kansas City Star. Here's what they had to say. I think it's beef with beans and, uh, I don't know, I don't know that I'm in love with This one's not bad. It's edible. That one is as sweet as if you just poured corn syrup over it. I like it. I'm waiting for the, the trap door to fall when you tell me and you do tell me it's soil with green. Oh, the noodles all right. The meat isn't. The meat isn't that good. Sort of lacking flavor. Hmm. Not bad. I'm a sucker for like a cheesy pasta. I didn't detect any cheese. Um, I sort of detected like a slightly salty paste situation. That's good. Like Italian sausage? Yeah, it's got some flavor. It's okay, I wouldn't write home about it. I like that until I find out what it is. As for the brisket burn ends, well, let's just say that in a barbecue town like ours, the bar is pretty high and leave it at that. But wait, here comes the big reveal. Travis Kelsey's Kitchen. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh. Well, all right. I think Travis should, should feel good about that. If I were shopping and saw it, I might buy one just because, because of his name. Now for the post-game wrap-up, what kind of gridiron grade should TK's Kitchen get? Fourth and one, and they couldn't get it across a, a punt. This one, you know, Chiefs, we should be encouraged by their third and short game. I think this put them in position for a first down, and, and this is a, a nice little Isaiah Pacheco five or six yard run to give them some space. 